Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to be working on this green, brown, and black alcohol swirl tumbler that is on a white base. Let's get started. Put some epoxy on this one. I'll show you how I do it. I just put a little bit on there and go across the top first. I'm just using two fingers to spread it across, just trying to get an even coat. Get the top good, the top rim of the tumbler. Make sure it's fairly smooth and on there and fully covered. Okay, now I'll go back and I'll try to keep my hand out of the way just so you can kind of see. As I'm pouring it on, I'm kind of making my fingers push the epoxy down the tumbler. I'm going to do alcohol ink on this. So I'm going fairly heavy on the first coat of epoxy. If you were doing like glitter, you'd go a lot less epoxy. Okay, now that it's all covered, I kind of go down the whole thing and hit the bottom. I stay away from the top rim a little bit just because I don't want to wipe any epoxy off of the top. me. You can see there's a quite a few little air bubbles that are still in there. I'm gonna hit that with the torch quick. Pop those. I don't know if you can see it. There's some small scratches in the white also. I'm not worried about that here. Uh, I'm actually trying something different. I'm going to go with darker inks on a white cup this time just to see how it turns out. So I'm going to do some greens, browns, black. Um, maybe throw in a few drops of white just to make those colors just a little bit brighter on it. We'll see what it looks like. started with I'm gonna do 
black, some lime green, some regular green, and how about a brown? So almost like camo colors, but I'm going to start with the lime green. I'm not worried about the air bubbles right now because the alcohol will pop those. I don't go in any order. I just throw it on there. You use an alcohol links, it's always kind of a surprise what you end up with at the end. It's never what you started with. I'll go a little darker. Still staying with the green, but. Get the bottom good. Do one more on the bottom in this blank spot. Okay, now I'll throw in some brown. some on the bottom Throw in a few spots of black, see what that looks like, if it overpowers it too much. That's plenty black. I think I'll go with the darker green and try to fill in some of these spots.
that a little bit of heat and see if we want to add any white to it or if it's right now. Just heated it up until I saw the colors all starting to run. Now I'll move it up and down a little bit. I don't know if you can see that the colors are kind of moving as I'm tilting it. I went over it with the lime green because I just wanted to fill the lighter spots in a little bit. There's another one there. But the lime green, you'll still see the blacks and browns through that. It'll just fill in the white a little bit. Tilt it again, make it move just a little bit more.
A lot of people take it off of the turner. This turner's fairly light, so I just leave it on there. That way I don't have to take it off and spin it by hand. And I just leave it on there and let it go. Then I can set it down and I don't have to put it back on. Really starting to kind of like that. I'm going to add just a little bit more heat to it. Just to encourage a little bit more movement. Okay. Got one little blank spot there. It doesn't have it. The alcohol will move the epoxy in spots. So I'm just going to take a popsicle stick and try to dab. Not worried about running the colors together or anything. I'm just trying to get it, the epoxy to cover the whole area. A little bit right up here on top. Take it off there, just kind of look at it a little bit. I think that's looking fairly good. I'll move it over to my other turner that I use for drying. I use this one to work on and then I move them over to a drying one and let them spin on there. And this is the finished product. Remember this and all of our other tumblers can be purchased at iowacustomcrafters.com. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.